So, just finished up my second day at work, and now I'm on my way to the gym. And uh, right now, it just feels like I'm like go, go, go all the time. Just set up a few more house showings for tomorrow, uh, for a place for Bailey and I to live. And it just feels like everything's happening very, very fast, and I'm loving it right now. Uh, everything's falling into place. And I just I feel very, very motivated at this point in time, and I, I just feel like all this motivation, it, it isn't coming from anybody else. Like, nobody else is motivating me. It's me motivating myself. It's coming from inside me. And I feel like too many people rely on other people to be motivated nowadays. Like, oh, motivate me to do this, motivate me to do this. No, motivate yourself. Um, and that's one of the keys to success. So I'm about to go hit, the, uh, hit a leg workout. And then enjoy the rest of the night with Bailey. Probably grab some Be Good, some uh, a turkey burger with some fries. Oh. I think so many, so many people talk about goals, 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 and what they really want in life, where they don't really ever have a set in stone plan, and nor do they really have a set in stone goal where they want to be. And I think that it is vital that people are true to themselves before they're true with anybody else. Before and before they get anywhere, they have to be true with themselves and know exactly where they want to be and how they want to get there. And uh, for me, right now, at this point in time, I know exactly where I see myself in 10 years, and I can visualize it in my head. 10 years from now, I can picture exactly what I'm going to be doing, and that's what motivates me, and that's what gets me going every single day when I get up. Um, but yeah, it's important It's important to just know where you want to be. And we're, like, I'm young, like I'm 22 years old, and it's, I understand that it's rare to know that at such a young age, but as soon as you know it, man, you, it's it's a different kind of feeling. And once you get to that point, you don't have to look to anybody else for motivation. It comes from within. It comes from within, and it's just it makes it so much easier, so much easier. But just need to say that. And yeah, here goes nothing. What's up guys? So I'm going to take you through my leg workout just like I said. And so key to any workout, especially leg workouts in general, the first thing you want to do is get a stretch in. So first I'm going to get, I'm just getting some stationary stretching in, get the muscles loose um, to enhance as much mobility as possible. And anyone can tell you that hasn't stretched before their leg workouts that they feel tight and they just don't improve, they don't perform as well as they do when they do get a quality stretch in. Um, so that was the beginning, stationary stretching, and then I moved on to a phase two where I just did some body weight squats and some body weight lunges as well to get the blood flowing before I started squatting, of course. Uh, and that's just one of my biggest things I do on my leg workouts because I, I, especially on my legs, I like to get a very, very, very good warm up in. And a lot of my stretching, um, just like I've said in the past, just like my workouts is dedicated a lot towards soccer. So these stretches exactly are things that we would do before games and everything. It's just it's just how I stretch, um, and it's how I get warmed up, and it's what works for me. Um, so moving on to our, my first movement, what I did was I did a hack squat, just a regular hack squat. Um, and all I did was I threw a plate on each side, just did 15, I think it was 15 reps, um, just to get a little more blood flow and get a little bit of a weight resistance so I moved from the body weight squat and the body weight lunges to just a little bit of weight on the hack squat to get the blood flowing. Um, and especially today where I was feeling so, so tight in my legs before I started, I wanted to make sure that I got a good warm up in before I started dealing with anything heavy. Um, so this was moving on to my second warm up set of, uh, of the hack squat. I actually did two sets with the one plate and then I had, ended up adding a 25 on each side. Uh, so that was that. I did another 15 reps, and it looks like I'm struggling a little bit, but I, I honestly, I am I was just uncomfortable at the time. I was not warmed up yet, and I didn't feel like I was loosened up, but after a few sets, I felt like I was ready to go, so I jumped into my body weight, to my barbell squats, um, which is right here, and you see me, I did a warm-up set with 135, and... I ended up doing a couple warm up sets, so I jumped after this. I jumped to 185, to 25, to 75, and then I ended up jumping into my working sets of 315. After where you can see here, um, so this is like I said, this is my first working set at 315, 
And b- before today, my personal record at 315 was five sets of seven, where today I ended up getting a personal record of five sets of nine. Um, especially on this set, I, watching the recording of it, I felt like I wasn't getting low enough. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to count that five sets of nine. But with that being said, I feel like my glutes are much more developed than my hamstrings and quads. So that's why I didn't go as low because obviously when the lower you get, the more the glutes that are activated in your squat. Um, and I was, very, I was very, very pleased with my uh, size of the depth. I was very, very pleased with my form. I like the way I, my head is ve- very, very neutral, um, not cocked back as much as I have done in the past. So I'm getting better at that. And then so this was just another view of another set of 315. And for some reason, when I was in the gym this day, my camera was going in and out of focus where like it was actually very, very light in there, but it's dark on the camera, which I'm, I don't really understand. And I apologize for that, but you can still, for the most part, see the exercise. Um, and for the longest time, I was training legs two to three days a week because I felt like after soccer, that was my weak point. I had lost all my I I had lost all my legs throughout um throughout the summer. I mean throughout the soccer season, and I wanted to build it back up. Um, but then towards the end of the year, I I, got, I ended up getting to the point where my legs were so much bigger than the rest of my body. It was unproportionate. Um, which is not often you see that. You often see the guys that are top heavy uh, don't do legs. But for me, it was I did did legs a little too often, um, and. I mean, I, I, and I'm not complaining either, cause squat. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Squatting is my favorite exercise, and call me crazy, but it's just something about it. Um, but with that being said, in the past, like my deadlift is not very, very, very strong. So that's something I'm gonna have to work on. And what I find is that it's very, very rare for someone to openly admit their weak points. Um, and it takes a certain kind of person to be able to do so. So if I can give one recommendation is to be that person that openly admits where you need improvement, what your strong points are, and what your what you need to do to get to those um, get improve your weak points. Because at the end of the day, if you improve those weak points, then also continuously improve your strong points, you're going to be in a better place than anyone else out there. And that was all for squatting. So then I moved over onto my next movement after squats, which was a Smith machine split squat. Um, and some key tips here, the reason that I chose to do a Smith machine instead of dumbbells, which I do both, which is because the Smith machine gives you automatic stability, which allows you to go heavier weight. Um, I have no preference one or the other, one or the other which like I, like I said, I do both. But what the Smith machine allows me to do is allows me to go heavier in weight to get stronger. Um, whereas when I'm doing the dumbbells, I have to focus more on my stability, which is also good because you need to be to be an all-around athlete, to be an all-around fit person. You need to be stable and have balance as well. So I went up. Um, I started out with just a 45 on each side on the Smith, and then added a 10 and a 5 as I went along throughout my sets which I was very proud of because this is one of my favorite movements and to see my progression in it is very, very happy. And like I said, just like the deadlift and the squat, it's all about progression. Um, So here's my next movement. Uh, What I did was a heel elevated dumbbell, uh, dumbbell squat. So it's a dumbbell front squat actually, but in this, so in this scene you can't see, but I have, um, I have 25 pound plates right behind my heels to get my heels elevated and put more emphasis on my quad. And what I also find is that when I put my, elevate my heels with plates behind them, it allows me to go deeper into my squat and I feel it more in my glutes as well. And so this here is just the same movement but different angle. As you can see, like I said, you have the 25 de- 25 pound plates on my heels to get my heels elevated. And like I said, I get deep into the movement, boom, like I said, and pause and then up. I don't like fully extending my knees, don't locking out, and I go up about like three-fourths of the way and then go back down, so that way I constantly have tension. 
and that was it for that movement, um, which I've seen a lot of progression on, and it's one of my favorite movements that I've been implementing in my leg workouts lately, and so I'm happy to see that I am continuously getting better at it, both with form, weight, and weight control. Uh, so the next movement I did was a giant set, which I did three movements on, so it's like a super set, but with three movements, and what you could, I started with was the... Uh, barbell stiff-legged deadlift, which I did with 135 pounds, did reps between 10 and 12. And then from there, so from there, I moved over immediately to the quad extension, and again, did reps between 10 and 12, and a key tip, what I like to do on the quad extension is I like to have my toes pointed forward, and then do a mixture of that, and my toes pointed up to make sure that I have constant tension on my quads and mixing it up a little bit. Uh, let the weight pull your quad, pull your quad by your knee, um, and that way you get the full stretch and then flex at the end. And the last movement of the uh, giant set, like I said, was the lying hamstring curl. Uh, again, did reps between 10 and 12, and did a little bit of pause at the bottom and the top. Switch things up a bit. So that is going to be it for my leg workout for that day. Um, after I finished my leg workout, wanted to go over and do some core work. So what I did was another tricep. What I did was three, uh, three circuit sets and a 45 second rest in between the three. So what I started off with was a regular crunch with a pause at the top. Um, did 10 to 12 reps there and then immediately moved over to a leg raise. Uh, and a key with the leg raise is you see I moved back a little bit because I didn't, wasn't getting the full stretch that I wanted, but what I like to do is I like to lift my butt just a little bit, um, which I feel like people overdo sometimes, and just focus on bringing my knees to my chest. And, and then from there, move to a Russian twist. So I did all three movements three times with a 45 second rest after each. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. So just finished that leg workout, and what I'm doing now is I am going on YouTube, and I am going to upload a thumbnail for a video that I actually uploaded last night and I, the reason I want to get this out of the way is because Bailey's coming over and I'm going to be spending the rest of the night with her uh, not doing any work because I want her to make feel like that she is the most important thing because she is the most important thing so just finish that up going to sip on my a scoop of one scoop of whey protein and see where the night takes me so see you guys tomorrow